knowing why you can get MS and the things that lead to it or predispose you to it is really important to me because I don't want my son to go through this. Well, genes in MS are important because we know that MS is in part genetic. We know that the disease is more frequent, and more, is more prevalent in certain populations than others. And so when we say we found an association, a, a, a genetic association with MS, it's not an all or none association, it's a proportion. A lot of healthy individuals sometimes have these variants that we found associated with multiple sclerosis. Modifiable risk factors would include mostly things in the environment like exposure to cigarette smoking um, or diet, uh, you know, exercise or exposure to medications or pesticide that can be changed. What interests me the most most recently are things like the findings about probiotics and that your gut bacteria determine a lot of uh, the stuff that you get. The gut microbiome is the community of bacteria and other microorganisms that live in our uh, intestines. We uh, hypothesize that the gut microbiome uh, may uh, be different in patients with multiple sclerosis. So we can either design strategies to prevent the disease or maybe treat the disease better and uh, try to remove individuals from specific exposures if it's feasible.